welcome everyone. This is Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream for my Empowered Spirit Show podcast. This is the energy focus where we look at what's going on. We talk about the cosmos. We align our energy and we look to the cards for the guidance as well. Lots of crazy energy out there, right? Lots of shifting going on in the cosmos. We're definitely in those intense times. Definitely finding a way to ground your energy, to have the ability to pull in, and to really ask some of those questions is exactly what we need right now, right? You know, a lot of people come to me as the last resort. Well, guess what? We're at those places where this could feel like a last resort. We do need to find a way to shift our energy, to go deeper within ourselves, and really to notice what it is that's going on within. And what have you noticed? What have you noticed this last week? Have you had more time to do things you want to do? Are you numbing out? Are you learning something new? What new thing did you learn last week? I know I ended up buying a class about Reiki and animals to go a little deeper. So we can use a lot of this time for those kind of things, or we can stay in the fear and panic. Really, change is not always easy. I admit it's not, but we're definitely in a place of change right now. We're definitely in a place where we really need to see what's going on, see what that resistance is, see what's underneath the fear that you may be feeling. And I'm not saying we shouldn't be feeling our feelings. I'm not saying we should be pushing the fear away, but finding the way to go beneath it and to look at it and see what's going on and see why is that coming up? I mean, even think about your week this past week. Like, were you okay being at home? Were you okay in your relationships? You know, were your children good? Or were you like, kind of like, ugh, what's going on? Were you okay in the way in which you were communicating with your significant other? Are you looking for ways to get out? These are the questions we have to ask with ourselves right now. These are the things we're being forced to do in many ways, right? With all this stay at home. So where are you shifting some of that energy for you? How are you connecting with each and every one? The cosmos are really putting out some intense vibrations right now. All right, all this stuff we've been talking about is coming to a head. All this breaking down of the old systems is coming to a head. Now, I wish, I wish we could just like float, you know, hippie free into the age of Aquarius, but that's not what's going to happen. We're going to break down old systems exactly what we're doing right now. So we can look at this as fear and panic and, oh my God, what happened? Or we can stop to say, okay, what's underneath it? What are the experiences? What's underneath it? What can I learn from it? Because that's really what the cosmos are asking us to do right now. It's kind of like last week when we had that tarot card. Things are falling down. So where can you find that courage and the strength to bring forward the things that you really like, the things that you really want to do for you? We're hitting this big shift of energy, all right? The focus this week is a lot of the the Aries energy going forward, the Mars energy, the Mars and Saturn energy, the Saturn and Aquarius energy. So right now, this week, it is a good time to break those systems apart for yourself. It's a good time to figure out how can I move forward. All right, we are going to see the intensity of the week coming forward. We're building towards a full moon. That full moon is going to be big. We'll talk about more about that next week, but that full moon is going to really start to fire some of this. All right, maybe you just heard the announcement that we're going to be extending this. It's not going to be Easter that we're coming out. We're going to go further into that stay-at-home demand, mandate, however you want to look at it. So what does that do for you? Does that make you a little bit more intense? Does it make you more uptight? Are you asking like, okay, I can take a little bit more time to figure out what I need to ask, what I need to look at. Embracing that change, going a little deeper, being a little more grounded. That's the Saturn energy that can help you be a little bit more responsible in your own energy and your own healing. That's the Saturn energy and that's really important. All right, the Mars is some of that fire energy. How can you see your way through? How can you pull through this? Lift your spirit, lift that energy. It's like that Phoenix rising energy. Where can you awaken to that higher part of who you are? And that's that bigger energy of the planets. That's that bigger energy that wants to come forward. Embracing the change, all right? Some of that Saturn energy that's breaking up and we're seeing is like, like, you know, old things coming to an end, old contracts coming to an end, new contracts starting, old businesses coming to an end, new businesses starting, old ways of working, new ways of working. So with every ending, there is a new cycle. So we're in that place where this is what's happening. Now, we also have the energy of the, the health, right? So we have to take care of our health. So as we can find the ways to get out of the stress and the overwhelm and the fear, because that's just going to lower our immune system, we can build those immunities. We talked about this last week. We talked about this on the podcast. We talked about it at the spring equinox celebration. Good food, 
healthy practices, doing the cleanse. These are the things that can keep lifting us up. So stay in that energy. Also too, like many of us live in the South, the weather was warm this weekend, outside, in the dirt, in Mother Earth. Listen, all right, we're at the medicine wheel yesterday. Oh my gosh, just sitting in that direction of the East and ascending and being quiet. And I was like, felt so exhausted until I kept going deeper and deeper and deeper. And then I was listening and hearing. And you know what? The birds are chirping. The butterflies are coming out. The grass is getting greener. Life will go on. We will go on. But it's going to be a choice of how you choose to go forward for you. What are the things you can bring forward? What is working and what is not? These are the questions that we really need to ask ourselves as we venture into this unconscious energy. We don't know what's going to be. All right, and this is where we want to keep pulling our energy in, keep grounding our energy, keep pulling it in, being very present. All right, dream a little, come back in. Dream a little more, come back in. That's that Neptune. We're going to be seeing that Neptune energy next week with that full moon. So I'm not saying we don't want to see what's out in the future, but we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We want to acknowledge the emotions. We want to feel them and we want to use our tools. All right, I've been talking about practical spirituality. Where can you find practical ways to introduce spirituality into your life? All right, we don't have to just save it for our morning meditations. All right, like, okay, we all have to wash our hands, right? That's a big thing. We always should wash them, really. But as you go to do it, so you know you're washing them long enough, because that's the most important thing, we take a little bit of time. We take a deep breath at the sink. We lather up. We really offer gratitude that we're able to wash our hands right now. We're standing at the, the sink, we're walking, we're talking, we're eating, we're doing things. So we're washing our hands. We're thanking the universe for this opportunity, for the element of water, for that cleansing. Take a deep breath. All right, 20 seconds, they say, that's like four good deep breaths. That's practical spirituality, where you become aware of what you're feeling and doing and offer gratitude for being in that present moment. And we do that often throughout the day. And then that becomes part of our everyday life. That's how you begin to use the tools. As you're washing your hands, like, okay, what am I washing away? Whose energy did I pick up, right? So even though we are not around socially, we still have a lot of energy that we can pick up, right? It's invisible. Remember, energy is invisible. The virus is invisible. We talked about that last week. But we're still connecting with each other, so you still could be picking up the panic and fear of everyone around you. So go and, you know, wash those hands, wash it away, really with that moment of presence. We talk about this with Reiki just for today. So finding those moments, and I think that tying it into washing your hands is a really good way to make it into your everyday life. So it becomes part of who you are and what you're doing. Gratitude will go a long way these days. Really? Gratitude about the food on your table, right? Yes, because a lot of people are struggling right now. How am I going to pay the bills? What is going to be done? So if you can allow yourself to kind of rise above that and radiate that vibration out, it's going to be very valuable for you, your family, and all those around you. All right, checking in, being careful of what you're doing, being conscious of what you're doing. All right, we had all that Saturn energy we talked about last week. That's that responsibility. That's the importance of what it is. Understanding when you feel that fear, let Saturn ground you back into who you are. Let Saturn come back into taking that responsibility for yourself, for loving yourself, for being good to yourself, for being kind to yourself. That's what we're going through right now. So as we go through the week, all right, tomorrow, tomorrow we may feel more of that anxiety coming in that we're talking about we're trying to get rid of, right? We may feel a little bit more of that anger. We're starting into another work week. We're going to hear more about it being extended. So some of that tension is going to be building. All right, the moon's in like Gemini energy. That's a lot of air energy. Careful of the chatter of the mind when you go back. Try to channel this energy, especially if you feel a little bit uneasy or a little bit not sure what to do. Try to channel into a creative project, all right? Something, something that can help, all right? Whether it's outside gardening, whether it's drawing or art or painting, try to channel it into a creative project. That's going to help you to open up that right brain. That's going to help you open up the expansion of figuring out what is next for you, all right? So that's a really good thing for tomorrow as you move through because we're going back to the work week, which should be our normal work week, and nothing is normal right now. So you may feel that building for you, all right? Tuesday and Wednesday, we get into a little bit more... Well, I guess more of the same, really, with some of that emotional energy. The moon's in Cancer, so we're going to feel a little more intuitive. So that's a good time to notice the energy that you're picking up from others around you. 
And then the moon is building, all right? We're building. So keep planting those seeds. Keep setting your intention. Keep trying to lift your vibration because really that energy of the full moon is coming in. It's going to also start into some of that Neptune Uranus energy that's going to be a little bit explosive. The health is also going to come back around. We're going to see some of those numbers lifting up. So we really need to stay strong, all right? We're also starting into, after next weekend too, and into that full moon, we're starting into some of the religious holidays and that's going to be very intense, all right? A lot of the religious, um, you know, facilities, the, the sanctuaries and the temples and the synagogues, like we can't go there. So they're having to do a lot of live streaming. That represents a lot of energy too. Where is that for you as well? So we are building. It is going to be a little bit of an intense week. Finding the tools that can help you to ground, to help you come back to your center. Use those tools. Use your energy tools. Use your Reiki, all right? sending Reiki out. I'll be online a lot this week doing it and kind of keeping my schedule and try to do the same for yourself. Keep some of a routine. It's good to change it up, but having those things that you're doing is a really good thing. All right. Very important. Working with this energy and moving through. So yes, we are going to be in challenging times as we move into this week, but grounding your energy, finding practices like this is going to be what is really helpful. All right. So let's take a moment and ground our energy and set some intentions for the week. All right, if you can, join me. I'm going to light a little sage. Just taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Taking a moment. And just letting go. Letting go of this week. Taking a nice deep inhale. Lifting that up the body. And exhale. Sending it back down. Deep into the earth. Closing your eyes for this moment. Breathing, opening up that vertical channel of breath. Exhale, grounding your energy, calling in your higher self. Feeling that alignment coming in, calling in your spiritual body. Feeling yourself pulling right into the very center of who you are. Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Calling in your energy. Taking a moment to honor where we are right here at the beginning of the spring. So much is shifting and changing. We take this time to honor those feelings. In the medicine wheel, we find ourselves in the direction of the east where the sun rises each and every day, giving us that hope, that inspiration. Tomorrow will continue. Finding the ability to be present with that hope and that courage, planting new seeds and intentions, calling in the directions for guidance and protection this week to the east, the south, the west, and the north, above us, below us, right into the very center, calling into your spirit, right into the very center, into your heart, setting an intention for this week, Bring it in through that third eye center and right into the heart. Feeling those feelings. How will you feel as these intentions come in for you? See them coming in and then feel those elevated emotions. Feel the joy or the peace or the love or the prosperity. And let that energy just radiate out from your heart. Elevated emotions, let them lift as you send these intentions out for your week, all for the highest good. Take a deep inhale and exhale as we call in the healing guides. Allowing the healing guides to come in for all those who are present or come in later. We just allow the healing guides to connect with us. Clearing away the energy field. Look into your energy field. Notice where you're holding little bits of energy that can be released. Any fear you're feeling now, turn a bright red. Turn a bright red and let the healing guides release this out for you. Scanning through the energy field and just allow your field to clear. See it, look, project into that energy field. Clearing it out, all those little bits of energy that no longer are serving us right now, 
the fear, the doubt, the panic. Let it go. Feel those healing guides coming in. They search through the energy fields, pulling it out like magnets, just attracting it. And then we send it down, letting it be released out of the body. And just imagine a beautiful golden globe of light above your crown. And then let it shine golden light. Nice, beautiful, high vibration of gold right through your energy field. All the way through, filling in any holes. This beautiful, golden, brilliant light. Let it shine for you. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. See, feel, know those high vibrations for you. Letting the rest release. Feeling yourself grounding. Feel yourself on Mother Earth, grounding the energy. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Beginning to bring your awareness back as we come back into the present moment. Noticing a little shift of energy. Feeling yourself grounding, coming back, inhaling, and exhaling, coming back, pulling your energy back. All right, as we shift our energy, calm and grounding, we can open up. To being really present. Looking at the cards for this week, very similar to last week. We have the tower. This week we have the death. All right. So the death is all about transformation, not symbolizing so much as a physical death, although we are seeing it. We are seeing it in numbers. So we send prayers out into the world for that. But then we also look at the spiritual representation, the symbolic representation of this for our lives, shedding a skin letting go, finding what is underneath it so we can lift ourselves up and begin to build that new part of our lives. That's what this energy is for all of us this week. I don't fear it. Don't allow that to scare you, but know that there is change that's coming, and so we build a new part of who we are. All right, the first card, if you chose card one, is the Empress. Love this card. This reminds us to Stand strong, take up the space we need, breathe, look at the aura. This is the mystery schools, this is the empress that knows the dark, that knows how to shine her light. Take up space, be strong in who you are, breathe, radiate out. A great card for right now, own this energy, own that spiritual part of who you are. Now we need it. All right, we had this card, this is the second card last week. This is our karma card, this is the energy we put out now is what's gonna affect us down the road. It's like that ripple, so looking at both sides, looking at the mirror of it, right, and right in the center. So when we go to make choices and changes in our lives, noticing how that will affect us down the road as well. So this is also a little bit of that patience, like really looking at both sides and knowing that energy for you. All right, we've had Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana. The third one is this card, and I love this card, the Seven of Wands. This is like, shine your light. Shine your light, shine it bright. Don't take no shit from anybody. Know your energy, all right? And this is of the wand. So this is that passion, that desire, that force for who you are. This is a really great card for right now. Keep shining your light, all right? I do believe underneath all this energy, there is a spiritual revolution going on. There is a transformation of energy. We care about each other. We come into this energy now to really uplift and really get beyond some of the ugliness of the world that's been going on. It's time for that change. All right, so the first card for all of us this week, our major card for all of us is the death card. This is that transformation. Shed a skin, let it go, scrub it away, do your spring cleaning. You'll be so grateful. We will come out of this, but the choice is yours, how you want to come out of it. Go deep, go deep, go deep. Have the Empress in mind. Whoops. Have the Empress in mind. All right? Radiate your light. Shine it. Do your breath work. Do your spirituality. Glow with your aura. Just like we did in that meditation. Just like we did. 
Remove the things that are out of the way and open up and shine your light, all right? The Empress, I love it. All right, the Karma card, the Justice. What you put out there is going to be important. It's going to have effects down the road. So setting those paths for you one step at a time. One step at a time. That's the great advice there, all right? That Karma that you're building, it can have some good things coming in, all right? And then the seven of wands. This is like shine your light again. Don't take nothing from anybody. Know your energy. Shine it. Stand tall, especially in that hard energy, those intentions that you set for yourself this week. All right, I did get a lot of hearts and a lot of thumbs up there. So yay, I'm glad you guys are feeling that too. All right, very important. All right, hey everybody, for thanks for joining me over here on Instagram. Facebook was acting up. I don't know what it is. So I will pick a few cards for everybody, just a few announcements. Had a really great podcast interview this week, Chakra Empowerment for Women with Lisa Erickson. Check it out. We talk about how to use the chakras now and also for the Me Too, for the Women Empowerment, Men Too as well. Really great. All right, I am trying to keep my schedule going. I'm seeing clients online. I have a special coupon if you want to do some spiritual counseling with me. All right, Monday, I am going to be in the Empowered Spirit Circle if I get Facebook working right. I am doing lives in my circle. Come join me. We're going to do Motivation Monday, tapping, first thing in the morning. We're going to start using our tapping to help us get out of these feelings. So that's in my group. Tomorrow, somewhere between 8 and 9 a.m., all right, I got a lot of Zooms, but in the morning after I finish my practice, Wednesday, I'll be doing the Reiki Circle at 6, no, 5.30. I'll either do it live through Birmingham Yoga or as I did it last week. Friday at Practice Works, I will be doing a live class with them. 12 o'clock, another Reiki Circle and restorative poses, so catch me either time. Wednesday, I'll be live in the Intuitive Women group, talking about EFT as well. And my Akashic Records Institute, we were going to be doing some global healing, and I'll be sending links to invite you to those as well, all right? See how you can bring what's working into this next phase. This is where we're at, guys. New phases, new energy, go into your spirit. Use your tools, all right? I'm going to be doing some um, refreshing on Reiki 2, how to send energy. People have been asking me, so I'm going to be doing that. Look for it on my Facebook group. I've been in my group much more. Hopefully, we'll get the Facebook Live going. Tomorrow morning, I'll be doing some tapping. Check out the podcast. Do your meditations. Stay strong in your energy, all right? So let's just take a moment. Pull your energy in. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Seeing clear to those intentions. Be strong. Reach out. Thanks for joining me. This is your host, Terri Ann Hyman. To your spirit, have a great week. Namaste.